this is going to be a brief description of DFCO, or deceleration fuel cutoff. Now what we have here is my little mock-up car. It's got a little V-twin engine and it's rear-wheel drive. I know it looks real weird. Um, I'm not real good at drawing four cylinders yet. Now the normal movement of this car is that power passes from the motor via rotational force to the transmission and is either geared up or down depending on the gear and onto the differential which almost always gears this rotational force down and applies the force to the tires where it is converted into forward movement. Now during DFCO what we want to do is try to reverse this process where the momentum of the car rotates the tires and that power passes from the tires via rotational force to the differential which is almost always gears this force up and passes it to the transmission which either gives the force up or down depending on the gear and uses this force to pump the motor and keep it running without using any fuel so in essence it turns your motor into an air compressor by simply pumping air through the input to the exhaust to accomplish this there's a couple things we need to do first of all we have to cut off the fuel injectors as the term states, deceleration fuel cut off. Another thing we have to do is cut off the spark plugs. You don't really need them anyway since there's no fuel to ignite. All of this is done by the ECU or engine control unit. Another thing that is done is we cut off the oxygen sensor. The oxygen sensor is what closes the loop on the vehicle to tell it how much fuel to use. Since you're in DFCO where there is no fuel being used, you don't need the oxygen sensor. Now, as with anything, there are advantages and disadvantages to this. The big advantage of this is that you save gas by doing this. The big disadvantage of this is that you have engine braking. Depending on your car, there may be more, there may be less. So, how do you get this on your car? Well, more than likely, you already have it on there. Virtually every fuel injected car has this as far back as the mid 80s maybe even farther. So if your car has this why am I telling you about this? You can't really use something if you don't know about it. One of the good things about DFCO is it kicks in every time you take your foot off the gas pedal. With no throttle there is usually some sort of lag time uh, usually a few seconds and you're good. Now some places where you can readily utilize this is at stop signs also at steep hills. Another thing to remember is cruise control does not utilize this whatsoever. You can actually get much better gas mileage by not using your cruise control and actually taking advantage of this. This is a little different than most of my videos so please rate and comment. Until next time, the beef.